on this board. You say don't bully in schools, you're bullying your own trustees. Yeah. Have you no shame? Get off your butts and do something morally correct instead of collecting a paycheck and getting a board of consensus trying to eliminate the one voice of opposition. Not illegal opposition, just opposition that you don't like. This is not the fourth right, even if you want to make it that way. Well, I think it's a... Uh a board of, of conformity that's trying to get a consensus to eliminate the one dissenting voice, the one truthful, factual dissenting voice, albeit she may have a linguistic uh, issue with, with translation, but her facts are on point in line with what the health or with the education minister Stephen Lecce has said that parents have the ultimate control over their children and should not have secrets kept in schools. This is by the health sorry, the education minister here in our country. Yet the board is going against what he's saying. The board is pushing to eliminate the one voice speaking for the parents, while, the, while at the same time the board is making it very difficult for parents in general to come to meetings, making it at odd times, uh, making it virtual half the time. Any time a parent has something of issue to say legally through speaking in question form, they shut it down. What I'm seeing tonight, I, th I, th I think this is a kangaroo court because she has she has nobody defending her. This should be, you know, human rights. I believe that it is uh, linguistic uh, racism. And you know, I looked it up. She's difficult to understand, but she's from China, but she's a very highly educated individual. And to see her treat it this way, they laugh at her. We, that's why we always have our cameras out. They're laughing and, and uh, you know, point of order, point of order. It, like I said, it's a kangaroo court. They're trying to get rid of her because she is the only one who's standing up for parents like myself. Um, I think this is an absolute farce. It's a debacle. It's a waste of taxpayer time and money to attack the one trustee, Trustee Linda Chin, who actually supports parents and kids and is actually trying to protect their innocence. 